Hey everyone, Natasha here from Brightspark Consulting. For those who have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I dedicate a lot of my time sharing my top tips for how to make sense of the murky world of work. This week though, I'm wanting to talk about something different. As we celebrate our human rights here in South Africa in the month of March, I thought it would be appropriate to chat about the crisis in the Ukraine and just my feelings and thoughts about it. Stay tuned. I sometimes forget that I grew up and am currently living in a country where just a few short decades ago not everybody had the same opportunities to grow and thrive. That people of colour weren't given the same freedom to make decisions about the things that directly impact them. I realise how fortunate I am to have grown up in the latter part of the apartheid regime because I didn't have to go out and fight for my freedom. I got that as a result of the battles that other people fought for me. I sometimes take that for granted. And when I see countries going through what my country would have gone through, I am reminded of what it was like back then, of all the people that fought for me. I'm not sure if you've been keeping up with what's been happening in the Ukraine, but since the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, gave the go-ahead to invade the Ukraine, I have been glued to my TV. The initial scenes were really hard to watch. I was left feeling a sense of helplessness, watching them being displaced and just looking as though they had no choice in the matter but to flee from their homes. I could spend this video bashing the Russians for fabricating a reason to pick a fight with a country that they know cannot full well protect themselves against the Russian army. But I'm not. Because in the last few days, I've seen something in the Ukrainians, a boldness to go for what they want, to protect what is theirs, that I feel is worth more of a conversation. Where did this boldness come from? Why have they decided to now stand up for f and fight for what they want, for their freedom, for their country? In my opinion, it's as a result of the leadership displayed by the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky. I hope I'm saying his name right. So, who is this guy? And how has he managed to inspire so many people to take up arms to protect their country and their freedom? How has he managed to convince all of them that they need to stand up against the big bully that is Russia. You already know that he is the president of the Ukraine. And he's only the sixth one so far since they had declared their independence in 1991. And he has only had this job since May 2019. And what a crazy ride it's been so far between having to reduce the impact of COVID-19 in his country and having to ward off Russia from taking over, it's clearly been a full-time job. So I was intrigued. Who is he? I mean, honestly, he looks too young to be the president of the country. There were some really surprising things I found out about him. Prior to being the president, he was an actor and a comedian. Ironically, he played a president in one of the series he was in. 
maybe it's life imitating what what's the thing maybe it's art imitating life look I don't exactly know what are the requirements to be the president of a country but I'm always surprised when individuals with non-traditional non-political backgrounds become presidents I don't know why I'm so surprised I mean we had Jacob Zuma as a president in stark contrast to his adversary Zelensky is a relatively young idealistic president who speaks with conviction about wanting freedom for all in his country I don't understand Ukrainian but whenever I listen to him I can hear the passion and the conviction spew out of him and it gives me the feels maybe there's something in the assertion by Simon Sinek that people don't buy what you do they buy why you do it clearly he has found a way to communicate his absolute passion for the people in a fairly relatable way like earlier this week he posted a video of him walking the streets of Kiev and showing what the chaos and destruction looks like from his perspective the same streets that his people walk daily my take out clearly true leadership is more than just the title that you hold if you want people to follow you you need to tell them why they should your answer can't just be because i said so I still feel extreme sadness when I think that humans have chosen to hurt other people in an attempt to grow their power base. <sighs> But I've been incredibly inspired by the people of the Ukraine who have chosen to fight for what they believe is right, for their freedom, for their country. I stand with those very brave Ukrainians. That's all I've got for you today. I'm sure many of you have felt a sense of helplessness as you watched what's been happening in Ukraine. If you want to give back, there are many places that are collecting funds for relief efforts in Ukraine, and I'll post some of that down below in the description box. Do what you can. As next week is International Women's Day, I'll be spending the week highlighting just a few of the powerful, inspirational and impactful women of South Africa. Let's celebrate them and the impact to our country. Maybe we can learn a thing or two. Looking forward to seeing you there. Bye.